Lockheed Martin Skunk Works Division has unveiled an exciting new concept for an unmanned, stealthy aerial refueling tanker. This innovative design is a key part of the U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Refueling System, NGS, which is aligned with the broader Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD initiative. The NGS aims to enhance operational capabilities and address evolving threats in modern warfare. The concept features a sleek stealth-enhanced tanker with a swept-wing configuration and canted vertical stabilizers. Key stealth elements include a chine line that wraps around the fuselage, sawtooth paneling, and a rear-shrouded exhaust with serrated edges designed to reduce radar and infrared detectability. The tanker is shown refueling two F-35A joint strike fighters using booms mounted near the wingtips. While the U.S. Air Force primarily uses the boom method for refueling, it remains uncertain if this design could also support the Navy and Marine Corps' probandrogue method. One of the standout features of this design is its pilot-optional configuration, offering flexibility for both crewed and uncrewed operations. This approach reflects Skunk Works' history of developing advanced, modular tanker concepts, including previous blended wing body designs. The goal is to create a platform that balances survivability, affordability, and autonomy. The NGS program is expected to include traditional tankers like the KC-46 and KC-135, but with the added possibility of incorporating unmanned refueling drones. These drones would operate closer to contested areas, reducing the risk to human crews. With stealth capabilities, the tanker could safely operate in anti-access-slash-area denial, A2-slash-AD zones, extending the range of Air Force missions without compromising the safety of the crew. In addition to Lockheed Martin's concept, Boeing has proposed a land-based version of its MQ-25 Stingray drone, initially designed for the U.S. Navy, as a potential solution for NGS. The Air Force is also exploring Buddy Store refueling pods, allowing other aircraft to serve as smaller tankers in the refueling network. This interconnected refueling system, combined with stealth and unmanned platforms, will provide flexibility in high-threat environments. Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall has emphasized the need for stealthy, uncrewed refueling platforms especially in regions like the Pacific, where current tanker fleets face operational challenges due to long distances and high-risk zones. However, financial constraints pose significant challenges to the realization of these ambitious goals. The Air Force is carefully balancing the costs of NGS and NGAD, which also include priorities like the 6th Generation Stealth Fighter and Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA drones. Lockheed Martin Skunk Works is known for its rapid prototyping, which produced aircraft like the F-117 Nighthawk and U-2. While transitioning from prototype to operational production remains challenging, the lessons learned from past projects could help accelerate the development of this new tanker concept. While the Air Force is exploring other refueling methods, such as agile combat employment, aerial refueling remains essential for supporting dispersed operations in high-threat areas. Lockheed Martin's stealth tanker concept is a major step forward in ensuring the U.S. Air Force has the adaptable, survivable refueling capabilities it needs to meet the demands of future combat scenarios. As the Air Force continues to modernize its refueling systems, the focus on unmanned platforms, stealth, and advanced operational flexibility will be critical for maintaining the effectiveness and safety of its missions in contested environments.